So yeah, this is going to be my final response of Quantum TV officially. And after this, don't expect me to make another video of him ever again. Are you sure about that? Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Sweet Lord of Call Me on a Goddamn Tuesday. My expectations of Quadrant TV was already low to begin with, but arrested for domestic violence? Holy shit. Okay, for those of you who doesn't know what the Dragon Ball Z lore recap, Quadrant TV has done some horrendous shit throughout his YouTube career. Threatening mischief with a false copyright strike, slander Review Tech USA as a literal PP, false flag the Atman's videos, false flag Raspion's videos, not to mention calling the Atman's mother, homophobic tweets, not to mention spreading misinformation about COVID on Facebook, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. But recently, I check on Twitter and Quantum TV's being arrested is already trending. And let's take a read at the screenshots. Tampering with or harassing a witness, victim, or infamous penalties. 1. A person who knowingly uses intimidation or physical force or threatens another person or attempts to do so or engages in misleading contact towards another person or offers penalty benefits or gain to another person with intent to cause to or to induce any person to a withhold testimony or withhold a record document or other object from an official investigation or official proceedings b Alter, destroy, manipulate, or conceal an object with intent to impair the integrity or availability of the object for use of the official investigation or pr official proceedings. C. Invade legal process summoning that person to appear as a witness or to produce a record, document, or other object in the official investigation or in official proceedings. D. Be absent from the official proceedings to which such person has been summoned by legal process. E. Hinder, delay, or pre prevent the communication to the law enforcement officer or judge of information relating to the commission or possible commissions of the offense or the violation of the condition or of prosecution, parole, and release pending of jurisdictional proceedings or finally F testify untruthfully in the official investigation or in official proceedings. But wait, there is another information, so let's read the second screenshot. On April 14th, 2023, at 1,040 hours at complete silence, Dob, complete silence, committed the offense of FSS 914221E, obstructing justice hinder within community info with the first felony domestic violence by using his hands to an intentionally deprive the victim identify as complete silence from calling law enforcement by snatching her phone out of her hands. This offense was, I can't even read that, but whatever, to su complete silence, attempt to move funds from her bank account, 
Complete silence. Attempted to use complete silence. Cell phone moments later, but complete silence. To pride her from using his phone as well. Complete silence. Informed complete silence. That she was going to call law enforcement if he did not provide her with the cell phone. But complete silence. Refused to comply. Complete silence. Sustained small. Where the hell this is? On her hands as a result of this incident. Complete silence. Refused to complete the sworn written statement and the domestic violence paperwork. Note. There were no other forms of telecommunications for complete silence to use in their residence in an effort to call law enforcement complete silence reported to calling law enforcement from the leasing office complete silence complete and complete silence are married and aside together as a family I respectfully request that complete silence be placed on GPS impact statements made by defendant prior to, during, after arrest, as related to each charge. Complete silence mentions that he took complete silence phone because she was going to transfer funds from her bank account. Once again, in this channel, we do not condone doxing whatsoever. Now, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but if the judge declares him guilty, he'll be facing 30 years in prison because he committed a first degree felony. Now, if I'm wrong about the felony charges, let me know in the comments section down below and feel free to correct me on that. And I also had to give an apology to not only JB, but also Chris Wolf 9 Correct me if I butchered your channel name. Um, what you said about my previous video on Quantum TV, you were absolutely right. No one has forced me to make these videos on Quantum TV. I was uh, mentally drained from making that specific video in mind in regards of the Quantum TV saga. So I decided to take a long break until I heard that he recently got arrested. So this could be the final chapter of the Quantum TV saga. And I'm sorry there's no background music for this video because I wanted to get this video as quick as possible for the ad revenue. For the ad revenue. For the ad revenue. You know, it's amazing. You are 100% wrong. I mean, nothing you've said has been right. Just kidding, my channel was never monetized to begin with. So, if you enjoyed this video, if you do, give a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. I really hope this is the final chapter of the Quantum TV saga. Let's just hope that he went to court to see how the court cases goes. But until then, this could be the final chapter. Alright, that'll be all fam. Take care. Oh brother, this guy stinks!